Hi everyone! Welcome to Cloud House! Happy New Year! Like every year, I was watching television. I saw the iconic Christmas commercial of Coca-Cola. I always feel a little bit warm about it. So I had an idea. I'm gonna make a Coca-Cola girl of 2022, inspired in the years 50, to commemorate the new year that is starting. I'm gonna use petite clouding, and for that, I'm gonna cut the hair really short. With my heat gun, I'm gonna make the vinyl of the head soft so that I'll be able to pull the head out without breaking the neck. And then with my tweezers, I scrap the hair from the inside and I pull the rest of the hair out through the neck hole. I have to cut the ears, so I'm gonna use my uh, exact knife. And I'm gonna save them in my pieces of doll box. With 100% acetone and cotton, I clean her face. And here I have a clean canvas to create my girl. First, I'm gonna make her wig. She's inspired in the years 50, so I'm gonna use this light brown, amazing, brilliant hair, and this black. I wanna give her hair flashes. I always start from the bottom. I use hot glue, and now it's time to start the wig. When she's almost ready, I'm going to put her aside and I'm going to continue with the face and when I'm ready, I will come back to her. I give the face three layers 
And look what I got for Christmas. I bought it for myself. I love it. I want it. And with my Druent watercolor pencils and my Faber Castell, my uh, Caran d'Ache Super Soft and my Soft Rembrandt pastels, I'm gonna start sketching her face. First, I'm gonna use a light shade of brown to sketch the face. I start with the shape of the eyes. I want to give her green eyes to make a contrast uh, of the palette of the colors that I'm gonna use on her. And with my soft pastels, I start giving some shades and contour to the face. I was your new year. Mine was really quiet. I can say that. I spent it with my family, it was really nice. I eat a lot of olive ballen. It's a, a kind of a, a cake, pastel, that they have here in Holland. That is really traditional and from the new year. Yeah, I eat a lot of it. <laughs> so, it's time for diet. I give a touch of yellow to give it more deep in the eyes. And of course I want to give a really really red lips. A really iconic color for the years 50s. The eyebrows, like I used to do, I shape them first with the soft pastels and then I come and a really sharp pencil, I start drawing fine hairs. But I'm conscious that's something that I have to work about it. I'm trying my best, but sometimes the material is also a problem. The right material really makes a difference. So don't give up if you are starting now. Keep on going. And now with my Faber 
Costal black watercolor pencil. I give her the bottom lashes. I use fabric castle because it's a harder pencil that allowed me to make more uh, thinner lines. And then finally with the white acryl and a fine brush I give it the, the eye catcher The body, I'm gonna sand it with my nail buffers to take the glossy out. And with nail polish remover without acetone, that's really important because acetone is gonna melt the plastic. I'm gonna clean the body from all the fat and dirty that he might have. And also, I'm gonna give him two layers of Mr. Super Clear, letting dry between the layers for 30 minutes. And with the same colors of Rembrandt Soft Pastels, I'm gonna blush it. I'm going to give her a lingerie, first a black underwear and then a black socks. I want to try something new. I always keep these elastics there from the masks. I want to hold on the sock to the underwear and for that I'm going to use a black bead that I'm going to sew direct to the sock like this and then I'm going to create a loop in the elastic that allow me to hold on to the bead And then the other side, I'm going to sew it directly to the underwear. I will finish everything with the little cute black balls. The next thing that I want to buy is pan pastels, but they're really expensive. They cost like, in all, in like 80 euros. I have to work heart by the way if you want to help me with that you can always buy me a coffee i have a, a link in my link tree that is uh, buy me a coffee you can give a, a donation directly and help me who knows to buy me my pan pastels and help me with my dolls i will really 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 appreciate it normally i don't like to ask anything but i really would like to have them For the dress, I'm gonna use this amazing red fabric with gold glitters. The top, I'm gonna sew it by hand and close it with a velcro.
and then I'm gonna finish him in the bottom with this white lace and I finish it with a black ball And of course, she needs some pearls. All girls need some pearls. Let's try these ones. No. I want to try a bigger one. This one's... Maybe? Another loop? Maybe? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I like these ones done for the shoes I found these ones in my uh, stock box they are really like uh, 50s style shoes they just have the, the wrong color so I'm gonna paint them with red acryl and white acryl I give it like three layers because they were black after everything is dried I finish with my eye glossy varnish If you have interest in to see what kind of material that I use, you can check out my description box below. You have a link that you can check out where I buy all my materials, uh, where I make the download of what I printed in my 3D printer, all of the videos that I use, all of the other artists that you can find in my YouTube videos. You can find everything in the description box and also my Etsy shop where you can find this doll she's going to be for sale I finished the hair with a big velvet red lace and a gold earrings And the hair is gonna be long with some waves and I'm gonna catch in the side the black hair flash I want to give her standard, but I was thinking I don't want to give her like a normal standard. So I'm going to make her a uh, Coca-Cola barrel for her. For that I'm going to use this, it's a roll ribbon and with this foam I'm going to fill it in and now to give her more stability I'm going to use this thermoplastic, it calls Fibra. It's almost the same like Warbler, but it's awful to work because it smells really fast and I hate it. I hate it. You see what happened? It really is. It's, it smells really fast, you don't have any control of it. I don't have any control of it. I prefer Werbler. But I made a mistake of buying it, a lot of it. So for this kind of project that I don't have to uh, give him a lot of uh, details, I use it. And then I finish the barrel with uh, some red craft foam. 
and I give her also the details with the craft phone. I'm gonna shape it a little bit with a, a lighter or you can also do with a candle you have more control with a candle but I'm lazy sorry so I do it with a lighter and then I paint him with my red acryl I give it three layers to achieve the opacity that I wanted for him printed in my 3D printer the Coca-Cola logo that I'm gonna attach it to the barrel and paint it with white acrylic. I imagine her sitting on the barrel drinking her Coca-Cola. That's the imagine that I have it for her. I finish with some black soft pastel to give you more aging and dimension. And I protect everything with two layers of my varnish eye glossy acryl. And to finish the standard, I bought these little cute Coca-Cola bottles in AliExpress. I wait for them like two months. And I love the final result. And it's time to put the head and the body together. This time I'm gonna give her dark brown eyelashes because she has light brown hair. I will glue them with tacky glue. And I finish her with some varnish, high glossy on her lips. And now it's time to present you with the final photos of our Coca-Cola girl. I hope you like of my Coca-Cola 2022 girl. Subscribe my channel, please help me to grow up, to grow up my dream. Leave your comment. 
I read all of your comments, they are really important for me, and I wish you a very, very, very amazing year of 2022 with a lot of dreams, with a lot of hope.